bus was driven down an opposing lane with its customers still in it. The citizens can't live in peace if this keeps up. Oh, how frightening. What could be going on? Didn't something similar happen just the other day? Hmm. Vertical is the name of a shellfish used for farming pearls. Oh, right. They did say that was today. We'll be going now, and the payment's on the table. Thanks for coming. Uh, this place is in the back alley, so there's no worries of a car crashing in here. A what now? There's been a string of those rampage accidents, you know. I just hope that none happen around here. It's none of my concern. <laughs> well, see you next time. Oh, four hours for just a single cup of joe. So, you're the guy. Yeah, I'm Sojiro Sakura. You'll be in my custody over the next year. I was wondering what kind of unruly kid would show up. But you're the one, huh? Have you been told? A customer of mine and your parents know each other and... Well, not that that matters. Follow me. This is your room. I'll at least give you sheets for your bed. Hmm? You look like you want to say something. It's on you to clean up the rest. I'll be leaving after I lock up each day. You'll be alone at night, but don't do anything stupid. I'll throw you out if you cause any trouble. Now then, I got the gist of your situation. You protected some woman from a man forcing himself on her, he got injured, then sued you, right? That's what you get for sticking your nose in a matter between two adults. You did injure him, yeah? And now that you've got a criminal record, you were expelled from your high school. The courts ordered you to transfer and move out here. In other words, they got rid of you for being a pain in the ass. It's best you not talk about anything unnecessary. I am in the restaurant business, you know. Behave yourself for the year. If nothing happens, your probation will be lifted. Cause any problems and you'll be sent straight to Juvie. We'll be going to Shujin tomorrow. Shujin Academy, the school you'll be attending. We'll introduce ourselves properly to the staff there. There's rarely a place to accept someone like you, you know? What a waste of my Sunday. Your luggage arrived earlier. I left them over there. Seriously.
Uh-huh. I'm gonna head back there. Give me that shit. Ow! Please stop! What a waste of time. You think you're worth causing me trouble? I'll... I'll call the police! <laughs> call them if you want. The police are my bitches. They're not gonna take you seriously. Someone called the cops, huh? Get in the car! Incompetent fools like you just need to shut your mouths and follow where I steer this country. What are you looking at? Get out of my face! This ain't a show. Get lost, kid. See? This is all because you're so damn slow. Get in the car! Trickster, welcome to my velvet room. So 
you've come to, inmate. The you in reality is currently fast asleep. You are only experiencing this as a dream. You're in the presence of our master. Stand up straight! Welcome. I am delighted to make your acquaintance. This place exists between dream and reality, mind and matter. It is a room that only those who are bound by a contract may enter. I am Igor, the master of this place. Remember it well. I summoned you to speak of important matters. It involves your life as well. Still, this is a surprise. The state of this room reflects the state of your own heart. To think a prison would appear as such. You truly are a prisoner of fate. In the near future, there is no mistake that ruin awaits you. Haha, <laughs> worry not. There is a means to oppose such a fate. You must be rehabilitated, rehabilitated toward freedom. That is your only means to avoid ruin. Do you have the resolve to challenge the distortion of the world? Allow me to observe the path of your rehabilitation. Ah, pardon me for not introducing the others. To your right is Caroline. To your left, Justi. They serve as wardens here. Ha! Try and struggle as hard as you like! The duty of wardens is to protect inmates. We are also your collaborators. That is, if you remain obedient. I shall explain the roles of these two at another occasion. Now then, it seems the night is waning. It is almost time. Take your time to slowly come to understand this place. We will surely meet again, eventually. and go back to sleep. Do me a favor and behave yourself, all right? Don't get me wrong. I don't care what happens to you. Just don't cause me any trouble. To reiterate, just so we're clear, you will immediately be expelled if you cause any problems. Honestly, I hesitated on accepting someone like you. But there were some circumstances on our side. You might have done a variety of things in hiding in your hometown, but you will behave yourself here. If you are thrown out from our school, there will be no place for you to go. Keep that in mind. This is the teacher in charge of your class. I'm Sadayo Kawakami. Here's your student ID. Be sure to read the school rules. Any violations will send you straight to the guidance office. And if by chance you cause any problems, I won't be able to protect you at all. That is your promise, yes, Principal Kobayakawa? Mm-hmm. He is responsible for all his actions. But really, though, why me? There should have been better candidates. It was a sudden transfer, and your class was the only one that had an opening. If you're done explaining things, mind if we get going? I got a store to get back to. Sakura-san, please keep a close eye on him. Don't let him cause any trouble outside. Well, 
I'll be sure to have a serious talk about the situation he's in. <sighs> Come to the faculty office when you arrive at school tomorrow. I'll show you to your classroom. some situation I can't believe they pushed someone with a record on me a male teacher would be better suited for this why in the world was someone like that admitted here who knows it was the principal's decision I was told that it's for the school's reputation I would have thought that my volleyball team has contributed more than enough to cover that that's certainly true. Be careful, okay? Then again, if anything were to happen, I'd kick out a student like that right away. Well, I keep wishing that he'd just end up not coming to school. Still, that isn't something I should be saying as a teacher. Well, I should be returning to practice. Oh, right. The tournament's coming up, isn't it? <laughs> Having such high expectations placed on you by others is quite a problem in itself. We'll have to work hard to make up for the track team, too. Yes, that's true. Why'd it have to be my class? Oh, traffic's not moving at all. You're taking the train starting tomorrow. So, how was it? The school, I mean. Think you can manage? Mm. Now listen up. Don't even think of doing anything stupid. Still, you were expelled once already. <laughs> to think you'd re-enroll at a different one. It's not like anyone will be sympathetic with you. That's what it was like at school. People might say stuff about me in the future, too. What a troublesome kid I've taken in. I was asked to do it, and I just happened to agree to it. Uh, I've already been paid for it, too, after all. A subway has derailed at Shibuya Station, greatly affecting the timetable all across the... Oh, another accident. So that's why it's so crowded. There's been a lot of those lately. to the police, the engineer's life was not in danger despite his injuries. After questioning, even he could not explain his high speed when approaching the station. No further comments were made. Police are still looking for a plausible motive. It's less of an operating accident and more of a crime of the company and the government. Site inspectors apparently reported all of this six months ago. The deterioration of the tracks and the ATC. Seems a railway company and the Ministry of Transport both turned a blind eye to the truth. 
There's no way they can hide. This will go all the way to the top. Now on to our main story. With this derailment accident, as well as other recent incidents of unknown motive, concern is spreading among the general public. Just what could be causing such a drastic change so suddenly in these people? SNN has Everything's linked. That's what you're thinking, correct? Hmm. Oh well. Are you free? You and I haven't gone for a drink in a while. Thank you, sir. But I have another meeting to attend. I must be going. I was I was ready to go for this meeting, and that's when this extremely fast train just came crashing in. Oh man, I thought I was gonna die. A noisy subway platform filled with people was suddenly. Did you ask for me? Is it a case? Not quite. I want your opinion on something. Sure. Your judgment is quite often correct, though. Can we discuss this over sushi, perhaps? You are making a student work late, after all. Conveyor belt only. Huh. about a gruesome accident. 80 people were involved. It's a diary. Make sure you write in it. You may be under probation, but there's no special limitations on what you do in particular. Besides following the law, that is. However, I'm obligated to report on you, which is why I'm having you record your daily activities. Hey, what's up? I'm about to leave right now. Don't worry. I'll be there in no time. Uh huh? Well, I'm off. I'll lock the place up. So do whatever you want for the rest of the night. Oh, but don't mess up my store. If something goes missing, I'll hand you right over to the cops. You got school tomorrow. You better head off to bed, all right? I'll just add this. 